Boom shakalaka, things are looking seriously awesome for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Even Willy Wu agrees. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at where we could potentially be headed. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including how things just look incredible right now and where we could be headed before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed at 62, pretty much sideways for almost a month at this point. The overall market up 1% today. Bitcoin at 3692, Ethereum at 1948, BNB at 247, XRP 48 cents, Cardano 29 cents, Dogecoin 6 cents, Litecoin $112, and Solana $19.43. And the top coins today, based on AI, would be Frax Ether, Bitcoin Avalanche Bridged, GMX, Wrapped Bitcoin, and Eurocoin. And you can check out the top coins based on AI by using Token Metrics free trial down in the description. Now, Bitcoin, for the past about a week, just going sideways. And when markets go sideways, people get antsy because they're like, Bitcoin, go up, and Bitcoin just goes sideways. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of perspective into where we are and how good things actually look. Probably the best charts have looked in years at this point. You know who agrees? Willy Wu. Why? Because if we take a look at some of these spot Bitcoin ETFs, like BlackRock, Fidelity, JP Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, all these different people. Well, if these guys just put 5% of their assets under management into Bitcoin, just 5%. You know what that would do to Bitcoin price? Roughly around $310,000 per Bitcoin. And that's just 5%. And that's if nobody else FOMOs into this at all, $310,000. That gets me excited because you know what? Bitcoin's selling or trading at a tenth of that right now, a massive discount. Not only that, but we're currently at the longest stretch historically without a Bitcoin impulse. And yet, so many people don't think there's another chance of one coming just yet. As a matter of fact, by the law of averages, this would be the biggest chance for an impulse to happen. Now, impulses appear when the weekly RSI reaches overbought. Right now, we have not seen that yet where the RSI hits this green territory. The longest stretch previously when this happened just to put it in perspective, it was back here, 959 days back in 2015. You know what happened right after that? One of the largest bull runs, Bitcoin 77X at that point. Well, we have another similar stretch going on. Could we see another similar run in Bitcoin? We certainly could when the percentage of Bitcoin supply that's available to buy is near all-time lows. You can see this similar to same time period right around 2015 before Bitcoin 77X. That was the last time that we saw this low for Bitcoin. So we could have prices going higher. Now, higher prices will eventually incentivize new sellers. But if the Sioux Swan or Bitcoin, they're going to have to pay much higher prices than what Bitcoin is trading at today, namely $310,000. If we take a look at just this log regression cycle index to give you an idea, a lot of people, maybe $30,000 are like, oh, but it was $15,000 and it's supposed to go down to $10,000. I can't buy now at $30,000. As a matter of fact, the cycle index score is 13 out of 100. That's pretty close to 1 out of 100. That's pretty close to as low as it gets. As low as it gets right now does not include $10,000. That would be some type of crazy black swan. The lowest based on this regression index would be 16000 Right now we are in the band, the lavender band, $26,000 to $45,000 at the top $125,000 for Bitcoin. And based on the Pi cycle top indicator, we may be in for a midterm top of roughly $45,000. Basically what happens, once we have a tick up in the 111 day moving average, this yellow band right here, Bitcoin price eventually touches the green band, which is a 350 day moving average times two, before eventually getting the pi cycle top cross. This happened back in 2016, happened back in 2012, also happened in 2019. Well, right now that green band is $45,000. So we may be ahead there before Bitcoin ticks much, much higher. But when you take a look on the grand scheme of things, again, very similar to 2015 before Bitcoin 
x Now, could Bitcoin 77x? Absolutely. Will it? Most likely not. But man, wouldn't we all just love that to happen? It looks very similar to what we saw previously. There, same thing right back here. Another time, we have the crash. We have the same dynamic going on where Bitcoin is ramping up for another bull run. So, where does that leave us? Well, there's some big long-term charts that would suggest Bitcoin price is about to go up huge. How about this one? On the weekly chart, the MA1 period on the EMA ribbon has bullishly crossed over other bands can be seen at the top here highlighted in yellow. Has only happened three times in Bitcoin's history. This time here, 6,400% gains. This time here, 152% gains. This time here, 700% gains on average. That's pretty significant gains for Bitcoin. Also, the monthly MACD has only ever crossed really twice before and each time has signaled a massive rally for Bitcoin. Just crossed once again, signaling likely a massive rally for Bitcoin. And on the monthly chart also, if we take a look at the SMA20, this blue line right here, has crossed three times previously where we had a monthly close above this each time was the beginning of a significant bull rally for Bitcoin. So why would anything be different this time? It wouldn't, which leads us to this chart right here. We might soon find out if July 2023 is the same as November of 2020, which is basically the month when Bitcoin launched from $10,000 to $70,000. Are we about to see a six-month rally where Bitcoin goes up seriously it could certainly happen so that's all for today's episode if you enjoy push that like button i'll catch you guys later have a good one love you peace if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then 10 million dollars a coin you're already a loser from now on if you don't own bitcoin you're a moron